All right, folks, here we have a 2021 Toyota Highlander Limited. Opulent amber paint color. It looks black really right now in the photos, but I'm gonna try and get close enough to where you guys can actually see the color. Uh, it is a beautiful, uh, I don't know what I would call it, uh, super dark burgundy color. In most lights, it looks black. Uh, if I pulled it out in the sunlight, it would probably shine a little bit more and some of those those dark amber tones would come through. But absolutely beautiful vehicle. Uh, this has 26,000 miles on it. It's a lease return. We paid it off through Toyota Financial Services. Uh, we're doing a lot of that right now. A lot of... Uh, you know, 2020, 2021s, uh, really beautiful rigs coming back in uh, on lease. Toyota doesn't want to pay people enough money, so I, I pay them some more money and uh, get really nice lease returns. If you're an Oregon resident, this has current wine country plates on it, which is what I run on my vehicles. Since we uh, produce some of the best Pinot Noir in the world, uh, I will say outside of Burgundy, France. Um just so I don't upset everyone. Uh, but yeah, we do produce really good wine here. Uh, so anyways, uh, you don't get the plates if you're from out of state, but you do get a beautiful 2021 Highlander uh, Limited. So there's the exterior. It's in extremely good condition. Uh, it has the roof rack rails. It has the sunroof. For those of you who don't know, you can just pop these off and the roof rack uh, attachments just clip into there with 10 millimeter bolts from one side to the other. So it's very easy to do. Um, let's see, we got uh, ABS guards on the windows. Uh, you have blind spot monitoring system. Most everything you'd come to expect at the limited edition. It's a really unique interior combination, which I absolutely love. You have kind of a dark chocolate brown and then a cream leather interior. We have the all-weather floor mats throughout. You have a heated steering wheel, lots of camera positioning uh, cameras. You have lots of cameras throughout the whole thing. We'll walk you through some of the interior amenities. Two key fobs. Of course, whenever we can, we produce those. Push button start. Uh, you have a beautiful wood grain interior. It's kind of a gray wood grain, which is really pretty. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse real quick. You have this large screen. And then you've got camera viewing all the way around the vehicle. 360 degree camera views. You can change those. Um... I just clicked the view button back there and that changes this. Um, let's see here, let's go ahead and put it back in park. Obviously navigation system, heated and cooled leather seats. It's a little chilly still out today, so I'm gonna turn my heated seat on. You have adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, smart stop assistance, all of the safety features that uh, some of you have come to know and love if you if you haven't, they're absolutely amazing. Trust me, once you get used to them, you'll wonder what you ever did before them. Uh, 26,180 miles. Uh, you've got some ambient lighting in here. A little hard to see, but it shows under there. You've got all the original window sticker and owner's manuals and everything in there. Uh, you have a wireless charging pad that flips up and there's more storage down below. You just set the phone down on that and it'll automatically charge and that's inside of here. Very cool design. You've got snow and ice buttons there. Uh, yes, you have... These things are selling a ways above sticker still. New, but you have the original window sticker there. And then you have 50 state emissions testing, 12.3 inch touchscreen, bird's eye view camera. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hold it on this just for a second so that you can 
have the time to look through some of that 20 inch wheels factory 5,000 pound towing capacity um, which is pretty standard across the board on these uh, thank God they're finally doing uh, more charge ports more USB ports and auxiliary ports there uh, then you've got a little foam seating area up here which they had on the older ones they've just kind of narrowed it down a little bit and broken into two sections which is really nice um, let's go around throughout the rest of the vehicle while it's running here and then you have drive modes sport normal and eco and then you have your off-road set up here so mud and sand or rocks and dirt and then you can just push it to go back to normal. Uh, a lot of things came out in this year that Toyota has been lacking for quite a while. Um, same 3.5 liter V6, you know, uh, amazing motor transmission combination. You got more charge outlets here, including a 100 watt outlet. You have uh, temperature controls there, which you can override from up front. You've got an access seat on this side to your third row, which is a split, uh, just as this is split here. Um, you have sunscreen shade, you can lock in place. That's standard on all the limiteds. Um, of course, all wheel drive, you've got parking sensors all the way around the vehicle. You've got your uh, seat controls here there we go we'll fold that down so you can see that you got the factory jbl audio system with jbl subwoofer there we go uh you got the this is just a highlander mat that you can have put in uh it's got the carpeting underneath it's in excellent condition all the tools jacks behind that little compartment there Doing it one-handed is kind of hard sometimes. Uh, all right, push button here. That's all pretty standard. Uh, the vehicle's in excellent condition overall. You got your rear seats there. You got your roof liner. I always function the sunroof. I forgot to on this, so I need to do that for you. Although, it is a 2021, so yes, everything works perfectly. Uh, not that you gotta worry about it too much even on older Toyotas, but all the same, we'll function the sunroof here. I love the redesign on these. They're beautiful interiors, just so much better than they were before. They needed this update. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the older Highlanders. They're all great rigs. You can't go wrong with the Highlander, whether you're looking at an older one, newer one, or anything in between. Uh, we'll do undercarriage videos as usual, 2021. So it's just pristine and beautiful underneath. <sighs> And we'll do an under the hood video real quick. And then we'll let you guys go since I've already ran up about nine minutes on this video already. It's a little longer than I like to go, but I like to walk you through everything. 3.5 liter V6, this is what I love about Toyota guys. Look at all the space around that engine still. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Not that anyone works on their car anymore, it doesn't seem like, but uh, it's just, for a 2021, everything is super accessible. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.